Hi, this is David Bowman with Zeus Trout Outfitters, and this is a tying instructional video <coughs> on Bowman's woven worm. Uh, the fly is tied on a Gamagatsu split shot, drop shot hook. Uh, you can see the information there if you want to use the hook. Um, it's a good idea with these hooks because they have a pretty large barb to bend the barbs down when you're going to go fishing, especially, you know, uh, just so that you don't damage the fish when you hook them. Okay, so I go ahead and I start the fly with a fluorescent pink thread. Uh, it's pretty heavy, probably around 3.0. And just go ahead and tie in. Okay. Get rid of that there. Alright, then I'll take some point zero two zero lead and starting just a little bit back on the bend there I'll go ahead and wind this lead wire and I'll pretty well wrap the rest of the hook with it that way this is good and heavy and it's used for uh, at least by me as an anchor fly um, in European nymphing situations primarily so kind of want it to be good and heavy. You can always throw a tungsten bead on there or anything like that. Alright, tie down to about there. Then I'm going to take uh, some medium wine, medium wine color wa uh, wire and I'll go ahead and tie that in for ribbing. And then I'll also tie in some of this Mirage large opal tinsel. Um, I just love this color. It's kind of clear, but it's got like this really reflective surface. It's like one of my favorite uh, like tinsels to use because it's just got such cool like a lot of iridescence and the surfaces of the worm you know are kind of iridescent anyway so it, it's pretty good for you know making it look real. Um, then I take two two colors of DMC embroidery floss. Uh, the first one is E818, and that's like a pearlescent color. It's a light pink, but it has uh, some uh, some shiny features to it. And then uh, 814 is just basically a, a dull dark maroon color. And uh, these kind of work together nice to make a what I think is a nice worm color and always tie the top color on the far side of the hook and then anytime I'm doing this Europe, uh, sorry this Polish weaving I always put three strands in the top strand which is used actually in the weaving process the middle strand which I use to build the body and smooth things out and then the bottom color facing me <clears throat> and that way when I turn the hook over to do the weaving the colors are in the right place so just get that all laying back and cinched down good All right smooth that little transition there between some of the materials and the lead out and just pin that lead down pretty good with a couple wraps of thread bring it to the front throw that half hitch in there to lock the thread down and bring this over here like so alright then I'll take that uh, top middle color And I'll just wind it <clears throat> just to add a little bit of roundness, add a little bit of body to the fly, make it a little thicker, and smooth things out so that the weave takes a little bit nicer to the surface of the fly. It'll, you know, the two, the embroidery floss will kind of sort of stick to the embroidery floss better than it would the lead and thread there so 
Let's do a few wraps here. Smooth it out. Shape the worm the way you want it to look. Oh, I guess I didn't need that half hitch before. That's okay. I need one now. Just tie that off. Get rid of the extra. Okay, half hitch it. And now we're going to go ahead and start to weave the fly. So I'll face the vise at me there and then turn it upside down. Like so. And, uh, you know, again, it's if I'm doing an instructional video on weaving, that's what I would do. But if you need to learn the weave, then it's best to look up some Polish weaving videos. You know, or try your best to try and learn it off of this one. Okay, so bottom comes over. Top traps that and goes under. Bottom goes over. Okay. Top goes over trapping it and goes back under. All right, and I'm just going to go ahead and weave this fly good. So I'm kind of cinching them tight, you know, along the way. Trying to do this a little bit quick because the, the videos take... Don't want the video to be super, super long. So go ahead and get this weave finished. And I've really grown fond of these DMC embroidery floss colors. They got the uh, the light effects, which are just really awesome for the tops of nymphs, like shiny and just really do a nice job then again I also like love these woven flies all right so we're just about up to the front there go ahead and turn that over tie those two pieces of floss off so you don't lose your weave and get rid of your excess all right and then now we'll take that piece of tinsel and as I follow the weave knuckles that I just did I'll go ahead and I'll trap that that tinsel in place up the back of this fly which really I think sets it off really nice gives it that nice iridescence that the worms tend to have and just adds a little little bit of flash I think I'm off one yeah that looks okay alright so just do that one last there tie off the wire and the tinsel together get rid of your excess fold everything over so you can see that it's woven you got the light color on the bottom dark color on the top you got that that shiny back on there the wires trapping the ribbing and kind of holding the weave together and then the final step is I'll take a little bit of Fly Reaper Rabbit Dubbing which is a smoother dubbing it tends to dub pretty tightly so not a lot of 
not real super buggy throw that on just to build a little head there and cover up <clears throat> and that's all. I'm, I, I don't mind that pink showing through a little it's kind of a neat little a tractor I guess kind of like a hot spot which a lot of people get into these days so <clears throat> just go ahead and whip finish here all right and once again don't forget that these Gamagatsu hooks have pretty good sized barbs on them so don't forget to get rid of that guy, but that's Bowman's Woven Worm. Sorry, Bowman's Woven Worm. Um, really nice patterns, pretty awesome. You know, it's got attractiveness. It's got the bicolor top and bottom. And so, uh, good luck with it. Thanks for watching, and enjoy.